Next, we want to change the color of the zipper. So let's just pan the skirt to the left, zoom it in a little bit. And now I'm going to grab the transform tool over here and click on that right here. And as you can see, the zipper just changed it to yellow because I just selected. Now I'm going to come over here to this property editor and I want to scroll down until I see this color and then click on that color swatch right there to bring this color window and I'm going to use this eyedropper tool it's really useful click on it to select then I'm going to just click one right there and I'm going to press the escape key on the keyboard to get out of the eyedropper tool after that I'm going to click on OK to confirm I will do the same with the zipper head however we will do a little bit different so after i click on it to select that zipper head then over here okay so first of all we want to change the type to instead of matte we want to change it to plastic okay then we will select this color swatch right here and i'm going to once again use this eyedropper tool click on it to select then Click one right there on the skirt itself. Now I'm going to press the escape key on the keyboard to get out of the eyedropper tool. However, I want to kind of click on that plus sign right there to adjust and somewhat a little bit darker right there. Then I'm going to click on OK to confirm. Next, I want to change the color of the stopper to do that i'm going to once again come to the property editor and select that stopper right there and uncheck that box right here use same material uh slider and check that box to turn it off now we get to change the type to rather than plastic we want to change it to matte here and the color right there i'm going to click on that color swatch so the color and the type here it does not affect the slider nor the puller we only change it for the stopper right here okay so i'm going to click on the eyedropper tool once again and click right here next i'm going to press the escape key on the keyboard to get out the eyedropper tool once again and i'm going to click on that plus sign and then slide it to somewhat the we want to get the color as close as possible to the skirt itself and after that i'm going to click on ok to confirm so as you can see right here the color now is matched to the skirt color and that's what we want after that i'm going to press number two to see the preview of the avatar 